Hello, my name is Jonathan Charlesworth. I'm 56 years old and I'm from Wales in the United Kingdom. Previous to my hair transplant, I had very thick hair on the sides of my head and at the back. But whereas when I was younger, I had a mop of thick blonde hair, I'd lost almost all of it. And it wasn't until I noticed in television monitors when I would go into shops and see the top and the back of my head, just quite how much hair I didn't have that I realised that I needed to do something about it. I think the primary motivation that drove me to have a hair transplant was that I found myself bringing it up in conversation, the fact that I didn't have the hair that I used to have quite often when I was talking with people. And although people were always very kind and very supportive and said, oh, you know, you're fine just as you are, it never really satisfied me in my own mind. And so I knew somebody that had had a hair transplant and it was evidently successful. And I think that's what ultimately drove me to, to follow suit. Everybody was very supportive of my decision either to not have a hair transplant or indeed to go ahead and have it. So when I said that I was going to come along to the Vera Clinic for a consultation, people said, well, that's great, you know, that's, that's entirely your decision and we fully support you. I looked at the cost of hair transplants in the United Kingdom and I went along for a consultation in Bristol and then I went online and looked at uh, hair transplant opportunities here in Turkey and it was the Vera Clinic who wrote back to me of the clinics that I wrote to so that's why I chose the Vera Clinic ultimately. My hair transplant process went very successfully all the staff here were very pleased with the way that it went and I had no negative repercussions from the procedure. I would certainly recommend other men to have it if they're thinking of doing so. The difference between my previous self and now is that although my hair is a completely different colour because when I was young I was really really blonde haired and now as you can see I'm dark haired that's because of the colour of my hair at the back and as I've got older I am a lot more confident than I was before I had my hair transplant much more so much happier. I don't regret not having it earlier because I think things happen to us in life um, at the right time and I had mine in May 2022 and it's now March 2023 and I'm back for my review. One of the things that's been most interesting about having had my hair transplant is that men and women who are about 10 years younger than me will notice me in just public situations like petrol stations or shops and people perceive me to be younger than I am and that's really fun. Hair is important to both women and men, but I think men particularly set a lot of store by how much hair they've got. It's all about you know virility and masculinity. So when we lose our hair, I think we feel like we've lost a sense of our identity and part of our personality. So I certainly feel a lot more confident having had this hair transplant because I feel younger and more vibrant than I did before. Most people who don't know me don't realise I've had a hair transplant. Even if I go to the barbers, they don't know that I've had a hair transplant. So obviously the Vera Clinic has done a really good job because apparently you can always tell if someone's had a hair transplant. And everybody in my life has been incredibly complimentary um, about my, my hair and, um, and how it's made me so much happier and more confident than I was previously. I didn't realise how often I wore caps and hats when um, I had less hair and although I do like wearing my hats, um, I wear them a lot less because I realise that when I take them off my hair suddenly bounces up <laughs> into the sky <laughs> when I couldn't do that before so that's enormously appreciated. Istanbul is a beautiful city and I've enjoyed coming here the second time even more than the first because um, I haven't had to have any work done and I can take in the beautiful architecture and the history and the culture and everyone's been so friendly and I would de definitely recommend the Vera Clinic in Istanbul to anybody watching this video.